Mark, FedEx Field has been open nearly 20 years. It was uh, The doors were open in 1997. Since then, the Redskins on Monday night in that building are 2-16. Is there is there one thing you can point to as as to why their record is so poor in big games on Monday nights in that building. Whereas before, when you played at RFK Stadium, I don't know, I don't have the record at the top of my head, but I know it wasn't two I'm, and guess, 16. I'm guessing your record on Monday nights at RFK was pretty good. Yeah, just uh, there just seems to be something missing there. I don't know what it is. You know, I mean, there's uh, it's a larger stadium. It doesn't have the intimacy that um, RFK had, and I just feel that uh, you know people's kind of. It's not passionate like it once was. It's not that intimate setting, and it's not a ticket like you can't get a ticket for. It's like, okay, everyone can get a ticket now to to FedEx, and it just becomes a, a situation now where, um, you know, when a, on a big game, on a high uh, stage, that uh, we're not performing at the level that we need to. And, and it's frustrating. You know, and it's frustrating for me as a former player to, to watch an effort like last night, it's frustrating for you know this this fan base that has uh, saw a team here play uh, the last half of last season and pretty much this whole season at a pretty good level to come out on a, a flat note like they did yesterday and, and uh, two and sixteen is I, I I don't know the answers to it um, but you know guys got to get motivated when it comes to the uh, the forefront the, the, the it's their stage you know it's their opportunity their chance to be on. On a, on a stage that um, you know they're just they're just letting this opportunity go. Yeah. Slide. It's baffling that number two and sixteen is just baffling. I, I don't understand it either. Yeah. Um, look, I, I'm a Kirk Cousins guy, Mark. Um, I think you are as well. I, I think he's a really good quarterback. I think the Redskins should sign him long term. I think he's the future there. I think he he can only get better. I understand he he throws picks in big spots and he misses guys wide open. But you know a lot of quarterbacks do that, even the greatest. Uh, but we've taken probably 75 calls this morning, Mark. And after a game like that last night, a performance last night where you really needed your quarterback to play well, you know, 30 to 40% of the fans are, are open to moving on. And I don't think the team will, but you can understand why, why fans would be skittish at giving him a lot of money after a performance like that last night in a big game, almost like a, a play-in, playoff type of atmosphere. And he just doesn't play well. Where, where do you stand on that? Well, I, I think, you know, the, from the, the second half of last season all the way up to last night's game, and, and I thought pretty much throughout all the game he made one, one uh, bad decision on the interception. But And then the uh, come the second half, um, you know, you got to secure the football, and especially when, you know, you, you hadn't had any pressure most of the game, I mean, to get hit. Uh, it's unfortunate. And, you know, start the second half the way we did, give the ball a one-foot yard line. Um but, you know, I, I, I thought he played well. I, I really did. I thought that there's uh, a good reason to say, hey, this is a guy we're going to hang our hat on and for the next five to ten years uh, go that direction and see where it takes us or at least, you know, try to see what the next couple of years does and, and make a decision after that. But, um, you know, we're, we're struggling in the red area and we needed a couple of big plays yesterday from somebody. And I know uh, Kirk made a few throws that balls were dropped. Um, I think he had six drops yesterday. I think uh, statistically his, his numbers were good. Um, you know, the big plays. And, and I think once you throw an interception, you, you kind of get a little bit uh, sometimes to a point where you get a little cautious instead of not making that throw downfield. I thought he had a, a couple throws in situations uh, there in the third and fourth quarter where he could have made a throw downfield. But, mm-hmm. uh, you know, he sees what he sees. and you get a little bit cautious and it doesn't always happen the way you want it to happen. But uh, I thought he's played exceptionally well. And I know the fans, you know, they, they want to win yesterday and I want to win yesterday too. You know, we've had uh, such great success in the eighties through nineties, probably and that was the, that 11 year span to go to four Super Bowls and win three of them was a pretty, pretty proud moment for this organization and pretty proud moment for these fans. And, and uh, we're not seeing that level and we're not seeing the intensity, I think from the, from the guys on a game that meant so much uh, to come out the way they did, as flat as they did, uh, it's, it's unacceptable. And, and you know, Kirk's a leader of that group, and I'm sure he he's, feels the same way, that there's things that he could have done and should have done that uh, would have helped this team over the top.